All right, so this week I'm gonna just kind of walk through what I do, how I create these videos. Um, I like to think of them somewhere between like a vlog, which is uh, you know kind of a daily, here's what I'm doing in my life. And I'm back at the airport. And a music video. I try and get the quality somewhere in between that. Uh, I'll come down here into the basement and spend a little bit of time just uh, writing something on the guitar. <laughs> just getting a, a basic overall feel of what I wanna do. And once I have a basic idea of the guitar and the bass, then I'll track the drums. And so for me, I'll just sit down at the drums, know roughly what I'm gonna play on the guitar and the bass, and just play through from start to finish, usually just one time. Um, if I wanted to, I could come back, you know, track the guitar, track the bass, and then go back and track the drums again. But it ends up being a lot of work to do that over and over again. I don't generally do that. Um, so yeah, so then I, I track the drums and then I come back and I track the the guitar. Uh, usually I do the guitar first because I, you know, I hear it first. Um, although typically in a recording session you would probably record the bass first, uh, which is kind of part of the rhythm, part of the drums. Um, they they kind of lock together a little bit more. Um, but for me, I, I like to record the guitar first. Uh, I know that's wrong, whatever. So I'll record them, and, and the way I do it, I kind of sync it up between the, the camera here, which is, you can hear that. Um, so you never use, I never use this, this audio um, because it doesn't sound that great. Uh, and you can hear it kind of here. And I take that audio and I'll sync it up with the audio from the rest of the music. Um, and that's kind of recorded in what a more normal, typical recording studio style recording setup. Wow, that's, that's a mouthful. Then you can get kind of really good sound and then you can sync it up to the video um, and have, you know, good audio, good video, you know, awesome. So after that, then I'll, I'll first edit the song. The song takes me somewhere between, you know, 10 minutes and, and 30 minutes or so to edit um, because I don't, I don't try to make it perfect. I don't try to, you know, make it a, a masterpiece uh, because that's just too much for me to do every week. And then I'll edit the the visual part of that, so the, the video for the guitar, the bass, and the drums. And then at the end, I start mixing in this portion um, to kind of put the story all together. It's pretty time consuming. Um, I probably spend about two to three hours of actual video recording every week. Um, and then on top of that, somewhere between probably two and three hours of editing the audio, editing the video, um, and then a little bit more time just kind of posting them online and, and, and doing that part of it. Um, so yeah, it's you know probably six hours a week or so. Um, but the way I think about it is that I'm learning. Um, I'm trying to get better at a lot of different things, and one of them, of course, is is video. One of them, you know, guitar, everything. So. For me to be spending six or maybe seven hours a week, um, you know, I think about that as, as my practice. Uh, and so that's what I'm doing. I'm practicing, getting better. Um, that's about it.